Hey everyone, it's Mojax, back in the DJ City Lockdown Lab, aka my house. Still here, still talking about streaming stuff, because that is the topic of the day. That's what we're focused on right now as a DJ community. So I'm trying to make my way through and come up with the best recommendations for all of you to help you get your streams on point. Today we're looking at another mobile interface. This is the iRig Stream from IK Multimedia. Now, this company have been in the game a long time. They were one of the first names I ever heard in association with high quality mobile sound, you know, connecting an audio interface to a phone. I'm pretty sure the first one I ever heard of was an iRig of some sort. So I expected a lot of good things from this. Did I get them? Let's find out. IK Multimedia have a bunch of different interfaces for mobile devices, but the iRig Stream is the one that's come up the most in comments from viewers recently. So that had to be the one that I looked at. I will need to compare it to the Roland Go Mixer, which I reviewed recently, as for DJ purposes, they do a very similar job to each other. Get audio from your mixer or controller into your phone. And they both do that job very well, although their feature set is very different. They both cost roughly the same price too, at around $100 in the US. The iRig feels a bit more sturdy than the Roland, despite both being made of plastic. It has a soft touch surface, which feels quite premium for the price, and all the connections and controls feel solid and reliable. I have no concerns about durability with it at all. For me, the big winner with the iRig is the stereo RCA input on the end. I posted on my social media recently about how 8th inch to RCA cables have become the most important ones in my life right now, thanks to all these streaming setups I'm testing, but I'd really prefer they weren't. A nice RCA connection is far superior to work with. It's a line level input, so pretty much any standard output on your DJ gear will feed into it with no fuss. The overall volume is controlled by a big knob on top of the unit, and there are three LEDs, blue, green, and red, to show low, OK, and high volume respectively, which is better than just one for peaks. Sound quality is excellent for such a portable and affordable device, and it's very easy to set your levels very precisely with that large control. At the opposite end of the device is the output connection, where you plug in one of the three supplied cables. There's one with USB-C for Android devices or recent iPad Pros, one with Lightning for iPhones, and another USB-A connection for your computer. All three worked flawlessly for me in my testing, with devices all picking up the iRig stream straight away, and sound coming through into streaming apps with zero hassle. Having the computer compatibility is a huge plus. I tried the device on both Windows and Mac, and both operating systems were completely happy with it. It presents itself to software as a single line level stereo input, which means it works flawlessly with OBS Studio too. So if you want an interface for both mobile streaming and streaming from a computer, this is going to be a fantastic choice. I'm going to complain about the cables a little, as I did that with the Evermix box as well, so it's only fair. Like that unit, the iRig Stream uses a mini DIN connection at the box end. I'm sure they have valid technical reasons for using that, but it still annoys me a little that if you lose or break a cable, you'll have to buy one from IK Multimedia, as opposed to if it had a standard, say, USB-C port. I'll just never be a fan of proprietary cables, but you do get all three, and they're nice chunky cables, so I won't harp on it too much. The device isn't just a single line input, there is a little more to it than that. It's not quite as fully laden with inputs as the Roland Go mixer, but that is sold as a mixer and the iRig isn't, so I'm not complaining. What you can do is plug in either a headset with a mic on it and use that, or a dedicated mic. I tested it with a small battery powered lav mic. And that works great with its own level control, so in theory, you could certainly use a mic directly into the iRig, although most DJs will run a mic through their mixer or controller. Although it's designed for headphones, that same combo socket could also be utilized as a pass-through for, say, a controller with only one output, enabling you to feed into powered speakers. There's also a loopback function to take audio back in from the connected device, although you shouldn't use that for monitoring as it will naturally introduce a little latency. Next to the loopback switch is one to go from stereo to mono. Whilst the iRig Stream does work as a fully stereo device, any platform that you feed into on mobile, which is expecting a mic input like Instagram, only ever works in mono. So in those situations, it's normally preferable to switch to mono at the interface stage, and you can do that with the iRig Stream. One final thing to discuss, power. Although it doesn't need external power to work with any setup, the iRig Stream does have a dedicated DC input jack, which can power your mobile device when connected to their iRig PSU 3A. That's nice, but that power adapter does cost a fairly eye-watering $40, almost half the price of the iRig Stream again. You do have a couple of alternative options. I found it worked and charged fine on my iPad Pro with Apple's USB-C digital multi-port AV adapter using the iRig with the USB-A cable. 
and therefore I'm assuming the same will be true with the most recent Apple Lightning to USB camera adapter too. Please let us know if you've tried that. Those adapters are also very expensive, but at least they have multiple uses. And of course, using a wireless charger for your phone will also work too, although that may restrict where exactly you can position your device when you're streaming. So there you go, my take on the iRig stream from IK Multimedia. Simple conclusion really, this thing, it just works. You plug it into a Windows machine, an Android phone, an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac, whatever you plug it into, it just works with zero hassle, zero fuss. And for a streaming project, that is what you want. You don't want any kind of hassle and this thing just works every single time. Fantastic quality as well. Sounds really good what you get out of this thing. And it's good value if you can get one at the kind of suggested retail price, which is around about $100 in the US. You know, there's lots of people scalping and gouging on price right now. So try not to overpay. But at the price you're meant to pay, it's very good value indeed. Overall, if you're looking for something very widely compatible, that will give you great quality for your streams. The iRig stream is thoroughly recommended. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. Stay safe. I'll see you soon.